As the Omicron variant continues to fuel a surge of COVID-19 cases nationwide, a team of researchers at a local university have set up a surveillance system to track the spread across Missouri. While the results can sometimes stink, Five On Your Side's Holden Kerwicki found out that can actually be a good thing. Since the start of the pandemic, Dr. Mark Johnson and a team of researchers at the University of Missouri have been testing for COVID in a way that may seem unusual to most. If you're infected, it comes out the back end. It eventually ends up in the wastewater treatment plant. And if there's, you know, if there's a virus, it means there's RNA. And if there's RNA, we can sequence it. By testing your wastewater, they watched as Delta devastated the landscape. Delta went from one sewer shed to four sewer sheds to almost everything. However, Johnson says Omicron has proven to be a bit different. Omicron has fo followed a more traditional route and it's just now arriving in Missouri, but it is now spreading like wildfire. In one week, Omicron went from two to 15 of the 62 treatment centers tested, mostly along the I-70 corridor. There's a storm coming. Don't, don't, don't think otherwise. While those numbers may seem low, test results usually lag about a week behind, but that doesn't mean that you should flush them altogether. <laughs> With Omicron, we, we know how it, how it works. It spreads really quickly, and everything we are seeing in Missouri supports that. I, I expect it to be in every sewer shed in the state within a week or two. While Johnson and his team are sounding the alarm on Omicron. For the most part, what we provide is a reality check. That's why he says this information shouldn't scare you. If you're vaccinated, you, you're, you're going to live through this. You might think you're going to die, but you're not going to. Um, if you're unvaccinated, well, now's your chance. In St. Louis, Holden Kerwicki on your side. And if you would like a look at what's in your wastewater, the University of Missouri team posts the results online weekly. And we have more information on KSDK.com and the Five on Your Side news app.